Hey guys, Sean from Top 5 Fit. Let's take a look at single arm rows using a resistance band. We're going to use a number two resistance band. Um, those are sometimes mostly red. We'll go ahead and take and put a slip knot at the bottom of our cage here. Just enough so that it's not sliding up and down the bar. Get your bench fairly close to the anchor point, and you're going to want to grab with one hand facing in the band. Place a knee up on top of the bench and get your hand on top of the bench as well. That way your back and upper body is ultimately supported by the knee and the hand. Just like a single arm row with a dumbbell, you're going to pull until you get that elbow past the rib cage and then extend all the way forward back to the starting point. A lot of people when performing this exercise find that they don't feel enough pump or enough contraction in their back. You got to make sure that you actually complete that range of motion and get your elbow all the way past your rib cage and then back to full extension. Every now and then I'll catch people getting into shorter ranges of motion, which sometimes will help with the pump, but ultimately does not do a whole lot for volume and increasing the size of the tissue. So make sure you get a full contraction in that muscle every rep. That about wraps it up for single arm rows using a resistance band. Again, great movement for the back, for the lats. Um, ultimately, you want to make sure you're maintaining that full range of motion at all times. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.